Hey guys, how's it going? Jonathan here again, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite games from the iPhone that was reformatted and now available on the iPad. Most of y'all have played Plants vs Zombies, or at least heard of it, and in this demo I'll show you how different the gameplay and experience really is on the iPad. So in this demo I'll kind of show you the uh, basics and objectives of the game and how to kind of be successful playing it. So you have the options right there where you can kind of tweak the music and sound effects. Let's jump into this level here. We have this crazy dude who's just hysterical. Uh, we'll kind of skip through what he has to say, basically just warning us that there's some zombies approaching and we got to protect our house. And let's go ahead and select uh, our plants. So we're going to choose our plants. First we need a sunflower, we need some pea shooters, uh, maybe some cherry bombs, a couple other different plants and flowers, and let's rock. Let's get right into the game. So it's really nice for the iPad. One thing that I really like and enjoy about the iPad version is that when I'm playing on the iPhone, you know, those of you who have kind of big fingers, they don't, you can kind of miss the squares and planting things can be kind of difficult sometimes. Not difficult, but you know, kind of a pain if you miss the square. For the iPad, everything's a lot larger. The screen real estate is a lot larger, so you have tons of different things that you can do, and you can kind of use the larger screen real estate as an advantage. What I like to do when playing this game is I like to plant my sunflowers towards the back and kind of keep them protected against the house while having all my plants and flowers in front of them combating the approaching zombies that are trying to eat my brains or invade my house. So as you guys can see here, we have quite a few sunflowers plants that have filled the back row up. We have five sunflowers and quite a few mushrooms that shoot these magical bubbles. Uh, how I play the game is I like to plant quite a few sunflowers. I generally fill the, either the back row or the back two rows full of sunflowers because the more sunflowers you have, the more sunshine points you're going to get. And the more sunshine points you have, the more plants you can plant and the more powerful plants that you can plant. So here we're going to go ahead and select the pea shooter to start combating these zombies while continuing to plant the magical mushrooms. I'm going to go ahead and fill this back row full of sunflowers so I can have more points and I'll go ahead and finish off this level for you just to show you the gameplay and the total experience here on the iPad playing Plants vs Zombies. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Plants vs Zombies is hands down my favorite game on both the iPhone and iPad. It really is a no brainer even if the game does cost $10. Well worth every penny and delivers hours of excitement. This has been Jonathan with iStartMacRumors.com and I'll see you in the next review.